among those most impacted by Rick Generetto and of course his iconic calls, the fans, and you know at home that you had all of Rick's love right back at you. Yes, and our condolences to his family, his friends, and fans. A lot of you fans, we've seen a lot of you today because we've been here throughout the day talking with you. And we've heard from you, and here's what some of you tell us about your favorite memories and, of course, your favorite calls. When I was little, I'd go on YouTube and call and look up his greatest calls and just watch them over and over again. I love the uh, call a copy robbed him. The top shelf where Mama hides the cookies. Top shelf where Mama hides the cookies! What's your favorite call? Uh, I think it's got to be uh, back in the playoffs uh, when Drury scored a 7.7 .7 left and uh, Max put it away in overtime. And Buffalo wins it in overtime! He's a legend. How, how can he not be a legend for 50 plus years? Uh, just an outstanding passionate portrayal of hockey. His broadcasts were quality and what he did, not just for the Sabres, but for the city of Buffalo, he generated interest and also generated passion for, for, this, for the Sabres for future generations. It's passion and commitment and love and dedication. My favorite call had to be when he said la 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 Fontaine, but I'd also say when he said that where mommy hides the cookies was fantastic. Now you got a favorite RJ call? It'd have to be May Day, but then again, Pominville, um, there's just so many. He is an iconic figure, and it's a tough day for us, but we always got him to remember him by the calls that he made. We hear him right now. His Absolutely. voice lives on. Absolutely. This is a place to be right now. I, I just That's a beautiful memorial they have there. Why did he mean so much to you? I grew up with him. I mean, I remember watching games with my dad, and even if it, the game wasn't going that well, he always find a way to draw you right back into it. His passion. Oh, 100 percent. You hear it right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's really cool that they what they did for him. He lives on through his voice. Always. And, and just before we started this show, I was speaking with a young fan, a young lady, Chloe, and she was in tears and she said that she and her father are huge fans and she has the ringtone on her phone. The ringtone is La 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 Fontaine. So talk about living on. He certainly does live on, and he certainly left his mark on Buffalo and beyond. He touched so many, you know, top shelf where Mama hides the cookies. Yes. Someone came and put cookies up on top of the RJ Memorial down here. Rick Jenneret, 81 years of life, more than 50 years in the broadcast booth for the Buffalo Sabres, and an eternity in the hearts of so many. We'll be right back. The pass to Murray back to Solar again. Put it in front. Oh, 